If you have a requirement to send an email notification from your Oracle integration, which will have information something like this, it will have a salutation, a basic information, and then it will have a header information and the details. Like here in this case, I'm sending email notification from my integration for a performance report for a student, wherein a student will have a name, age, date of birth, and the performance details. In the performance details, I'm having the subject, marks and the grade that the student received and at the end i'm having best regards and who is the teacher or the principal of a school college name something like that and at the end we are putting some logo for demonstration purpose i have put this for actual logo suppose if you want to achieve this with the help of integration with just two steps that is without using plsql or any other javascript just with the help of a mapper and the notification then you can learn the same how you can achieve this with just two simple steps using this method in this class first of all i will show you how my email notification is triggered i have exposed this integration over a rest protocol in the request i am accepting a json payload and in the json payload i am accepting the subject what it has to send in the email notification for example over here the subject is coming from rest payload suppose in your case if you want to send the subject or to and so and so forth information by pulling the data from rest api or from the database that you can internally achieve using the respective adapters in the integration but for the simplicity purpose or for the demonstration purpose i have passed this subject header information that is name age date of birth to whom the email should be fired that is the two those things in the request body and also the mark information is an array that is over here subjects i am putting within the array objects so this is the rest body which my integration receives and the output will be a email that is it will have the subject that is this one and the salutation and then the header information that is the profile information in this case or the student information and the detailed performance report for a student based on the subject and in the end we are having the logo now i will explain how i have done this with the help of integration this is a very basic integration i have exposed this integration over a rest protocol the request sample I have shown you just now in this class. I will straight away come to the next step. In next step, what I am doing is, our goal is to send the notification. First, I will show the notification over here. Two, I am mapping it to my request that is over here. It is mapped to the request payload what I am getting in the input. Suppose if you want to get this data from the database or from API, then you can call the database adapter or the API, get the detail and map it over here. From anyhow, it will be managed with the help of administration in the integration. Even you give over here, it will consider what is set up in the instance level. Subject in my case, I am getting from the request payload. Then coming to the body, here is the main part. So here I have copy pasted this same code in my VS code. So this is the HTML body, which it looks like. In the head, we are having some CSS properties, which will control how the table, how the container of this email should look like. That is over here. What should be the color of the table header what will be the color of the table row and so and so forth information is available over here in the css property coming to the main within the main container that is the div segment i have put the salutation in your case you can change this data as per your use case and then coming to the main header in my case it is showing the student profile information wherein name age and date of birth is considered so this i have mapped to the notification properties that is available over here if you just scroll down in this page there are parameters section where we have age name performance table and the date of birth so name age date of birth i am mapping it to my request that is over here under the header object i am receiving the name age date of birth same i have mapped to the parameters and i am referring it over here like this so this is how you have to refer the parameters that is putting the curly brackets and those curly brackets name should match what you define over here in the parameters so this is regarding the first table that is the profile information i have written over here coming to the second table which shows the details for the performance that is this one so here if you see i have put this parameter that is performance table which signifies that i am generating this table somewhere so that somewhere is in the mapper i will come to that shortly at the end i am having a logic 
to show the logo that is the company logo you can show it over here like this for demonstration purpose i have put the oracle logo over here so just make sure the url what you are referring it should be some live url and you should not refer to some google website because anytime that a website can go down and logo won't show in the email so it will be a embarrassing moment as a developer when you deliver any solution to the customer now if you look at this performance table it will look something like this suppose in your case if you want to show the purchase order line details then it will have one header similar like what we have in the header like that we will have one header and then the table and the table will have the n number of line details so similar like that we have to generate this logic that is header and the table information using mapper so that i have put as a parameter over here that i am referring it over here that is to the c2 c2 is nothing but one of the fields in the stage action over here now let me explain how i have generated this c2 first i will show you the stage action so this is the dummy activity i have put over here just because i have to leverage the feature of mapper that is xslt in order to generate this structure at runtime that is i want to generate this structure at runtime so i am adding the stage action over here otherwise we don't have any option to get the mapper or the xslt feature for transformation of the data click on continue so here the sample document which i have considered is the json document and my json document will look something like this it will have c1 to c10 attributes over here so value we will populate over here so out of this i am only mapping in this use case that is the c2 c2 is the only field i have used in order to generate the entire table data structure that i am mapping it over here from my staged json file just make sure you are putting it over here the request payload not the response as the logic we are generating in the mapper and we are sending it as a request to write the file so same will be available in the request wrapper and the c2 field coming to the mapper over here so entire logic we are writing within the c2 suppose if i expand over here i'm looping over the marks array over here so every mark what i'm getting is pulling the subject value and then i'm wrapping it over here with the some text that is the thing but i'm wrapping it with this one th tr like this end of header end of line table those things we are mapping with the help of text so text you will find it over here that component is over here that is the text you can drag and drop or you can make use of the code view as well so this structure will look good if i explain with the code view so you can use the designer as well so i will format this in the vs code and explain here is the formatted XSLT mapper. So within the C2, we are mapping entire logic. Suppose if you clearly see, first one is nothing but the header. So what it does is, it will add this S3 header information using this code. That is, if you closely observe, within this text that is starting and ending it over here, we have put S3. So ampersand LT means nothing but it is generating at runtime this this character that is less than and the greater than will generate this character at the runtime so this is what it does let me just undo so it is creating one header information that is performance details then it is opening the table tag in our html then it is writing headers that what it shows over here that is it is generating the code for writing this table header and then it is closing that particular row that is it is ending this table header row then coming to the rows information that is adding the subject and this one grade and the marks we have opened the for loop so this for loop will loop over the mark section over here that is over here so we will be sending the marks in the input request payload that is over here it will iterate over each and every marks so this we are iterating with the help of for loop that it is looping over the marks in the request then what this text fields will do is it will open the table row and then it will add the table data tag it will put the information what is available for the subject then it will end the table data then again it will open the table data to add the marks information that is first it will open the table row then add the sans then it will again open the table data that is marks grade it will add and then it will end the table data as well as it will end the table row that is it will close the table row tag which opened over here in the first line that is closed over here so this we are achieving with the help of follow then at the end 
the table tag which was opened over here in the line number 35 it is closed here in the 54 so this is how very simple way you can generate the html based email layouts using the oracle integration just by leveraging the capabilities of mapper or the xslt 2.0 so like this you can avoid using any other external services or the javascript writing the code in the pl sql those things you can completely avoid and leverage the maximum potential what our oracle integration can offer and deliver the maintainable and scalable solutions to your customers